Hello to all of my one, two, threes. We are going to get into a general reading for the collective sign of Pisces. Um, Pisces, as I was meditating over the cards, I heard, I want to get this off my chest. So I feel like somebody has something that they want to say to you. Like, I'm not sure. <clears throat> I feel like somebody, they have something that they want to say. This could be someone who you're currently not speaking with. Um, or maybe like you just stopped speaking for a few days, could be a few weeks, could be a few months or even years. But they have something that they want to get off their chest. So we're going to get into a reading and see what that may be. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put these cards over here. I'm going to shuffle these. And I hope you all are doing amazing. Be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as y'all come in. Make sure that notification bell is set to all. Okay. And members, you should have received an email back from me for those who did email me about personal readings. All right. Let's see. What is coming out for you? Somebody has something to get off their chest. Yes. This is an emotional message. Um, there's a lot of emotions caught up in this energy here. This person is ready to wear their heart on their sleeve, so to speak, when it comes to you. Some They have something they want to say. They want to communicate with you in an emotional way with that page of cups. I almost feel like this energy here, this is new to them. This isn't somebody who's used to expressing themselves. Um... Or they found a new way to express themselves. This is somebody where there it's been a lot of stress, Pisces. Like they've been holding a lot in. Um, I, you may have not spoken with this person with the four uh, swords here, maybe in four months, four weeks, possibly even four years, um, four days or something. But this person really just wants to communicate with you. They want to get this. I feel like they see something from a different perspective right now. I, I feel like time has kind of softened their heart or softened their stance. Um, it's almost as if they wish they would have said something to you when they had the chance or something. The hermit card, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of distance between you and this person and they've been doing a lot of self-reflecting and I feel like you've been working on things in your life too, Pisces, whatever that may be, but I just kind of feel like there's a lot of distance between y'all right now. There's a lot of spiritual healing. This could have even been somebody who ghosted you or they feel ghosted by you. So let me see what else is coming out. The chariot call you. I feel like it, this person had to get up the courage or the nerve to really come in. Maybe they felt a little intimidated by you. Maybe they feel like you didn't want to hear anything they had to say. I don't know. Um, but what I do see is this person really wants to communicate with you. Let me see what your energy is, Pisces. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving. You're, <clears throat> you're already in some sort of like... You've moved into calmer waters. I kind of feel like you turned your back. This is you and that Six of Swords energy where you kind of like turned your back on a situation, kind of happy that it was over. Um, maybe things are a little more peaceful in your life and things have sort of quieted down for you just a little bit. You may be thinking of ways to make things easier for yourself. Your Ace of Cups here. So it does look like you're, you're focused on some really happy time right now. It could be good news. It could be um, maybe something good in your life or your energy is just maybe it feels replenished with that Ace of Cups. Um, yeah, I feel like with this, it's like with the Six of Swords, it's like you rode right into some good emotions, like you sailed right into some good emotions here or some good news. Wow. And then you have the sun card here. So a lot of enlightening energy, something, this is really good energy for you, Pisces, really good energy. 
Some of you all are feeling amazing. You're doing amazing. You are happy about some things, some changes that are happening in your life. You're happy you have turned your back on some harder times. You're happy to put something behind you. Something is in the past with that Six of Swords there. It looks like a lot of good emotions with this Ace of Cups and the Sun car here. So I feel like this is what you're focused on within your life. Something good. Yeah, with this Nine of Swords here, it's like... I feel like talking to this person kind of stresses you, you know, it's like you're really in some good energy right now. And then the, you have this nine of swords here. So it's almost like, I feel like this person kind of, maybe they left you hanging. Maybe they left you in your head. Maybe they left you feeling stressed or every time you think about like a conversation that you all may have or something like that, you get stressed. Um... I kind of feel like whoever this is, Pisces, you don't have the best feeling about them or um, you don't have the best relationship with them. And that could have been what caused this distance between you all in the first place. Okay. Um, yeah, because you're vibrating in that Six of Swords energy like you're focused on happier times. And this has, with that Ace of, it's like you're facing the Ace of Cups and the Sun card here. But on the horizon is this Nine of Swords energy. And it's coming in fast with that Chariot card. Yeah, somebody had to, it's almost like they had to build up their bravery. Or they had to get their words in order or focused or something. But this is somebody who stresses you out. The Ten of Pentacles here. Um, an earth sign could be significant. Or somebody with um, Virgo placement could be significant. But let's see what they have to say to you, Pisces. Got the Page of Cups. That's Pisces energy. Very youthful energy. Four Swords. Libra energy. The Hermit card. Virgo energy. The Chariot card. Cancer energy. All of those signs may be significant. It could be their placement. Or one of those signs could be uh, significant. It could be their placement. Okay? But this is somebody who wants to communicate with you. And they've had to really think about... It's something that they want to get off of their chest. And remember I said that and look at the first card that came out. It shows a heart on her chest. On this energy chest. Her or his. It doesn't matter. But it just is like somebody wants to express how they feel. Okay. Wait a minute. This card wasn't supposed to be in here. Look, this is the only card that's not supposed to be in here, but it was stuck to here. So that's symbolic. Two of Cups. This person want to make an offer. It's almost like they want to, there's some sort, I don't, it's It's like, this could be somebody who you are um, either romantically linked to. It could be a family member. It could be a parent and child. It could be a sibling. It could be a, uh, it's somebody who, has a lot of deep emotions for you. And the way things have been, this could be somebody you haven't talked to in a very long time with that hermit card, but the way things have been, they really don't like it. They don't like the distance that you all have between you all. That 10 of Pentacles could represent family, you know, or somebody who you viewed as family. Maybe you all had some sort of falling out due to money or something like that. This also, I kind of even feel like, okay, no, listen, this is this is the energy that I'm getting that just came in, Pisces, and I can be completely wrong. You all are welcome to leave a comment in the comment section, okay? I almost even feel like with this Ten of Pentacles here, this is something about generational. It's like maybe um, this is someone who, um, just say if you're the black sheep or they're the black sheep, it's almost like you all, your family, this is like generational energy that was passed on. Like, you know how in families, when they have the black sheep, that energy passes on, like the elders teach, you know, the you, the younger generation to dislike someone. Um, even if they don't have a bad experience with them, they still teach them to dislike someone. So it's like something was, it's like a generational um, energy around this. This is why I feel like it's family or maybe you were in a connection, like a relationship with this person and their family did not like you and they played a role in sort of separating you all in some way. 
But I kind of feel like you went on with your life. and But being around this person stresses you out. Talking to them stresses you out. Um, And I even get the energy. They have felt kind of stressed over what has happened. They've thought about it a lot. This is somebody who want to come in and make some sort of offer. They want to talk about their emotions, how they feel. Okay, let's see what else is coming out. Spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. I told you this person want to wear their heart on their sleeve. They want to wear their heart on their sleeve when it comes to you. But let's let's finish. Let's see, because the 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 energy may be up and down. Unclear. Look, I just said it may be up and down, and then it says unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection anymore. Right, and the four swords. See, so this is somebody who I feel like one minute they want to give you everything. They feel like you truly do deserve it, but then there's some sort of energy with it's like they feel unclear. They're stressed about your last conversation. They don't know how to feel about the connection. They don't know if you're open to receive this. They don't know if you're blaming them for something. They don't know if they wrongly accused you or something. I just feel like it's a lot on this person's mind that they're trying to work through. And that's where that four swords and unclarity came in at. Let the past go. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life our past holds us back from our future look and look how the cards are coming out and the words are coming out on this hermit card i told you this is somebody who you've been in distance you've been away from for a very long time either they ghost at you or you ghost at them but this is somebody who want to let the past go they're tired of holding on to it they want you to let it go they want to let it go they feel like you both have been affected by either family uh um uh, influences, you know, or just life itself has has taken a toll on you both. And they just kind of want to rewind things before it got so bad. Maybe it was a lot of people in their ear, or maybe it was a lot of people in your ear, but whatever it is, they're like, they want to let the past go. You know, whoever they are playing games. This is a game to me, the way I'm acting, responding or posting it to get your attention. So this is somebody with the chariot card. It's kind of like they may have been doing something, trying to get your attention without you knowing. So this is somebody who could have a fake account and just kind of like say something and want to just get some sort of response out of you because they don't know how to, they don't know how to approach you. They don't, I don't know what happened between you all. I don't know whether it was an argument. I don't know whether it was just like, I don't know. You know, it's it's almost the energy is it's so unclear. And I feel like this person just wants any sort of interaction with you because they don't feel confident enough just approaching you. But they are building up their confidence because they're tired of you all kind of living in the past and holding some sort of animosity between each other. So they do play games. They pretend like not to see you or to do certain things because they want to get some sort of response out of you. Any response is better than no response. Any attention is better than no attention. That's just how they feel. Okay. So I kind of want to see what you have to say or what you might. Oh, look, it was another card in here. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Let me see if any more cards mixed in with you. No, no, it is. Why are these cards mixed in here like this? This is significant. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. There's something from you all's childhood that's significant. And that's why I'm saying it's something that has to do with um, what you were taught in your childhood by your family or what they were taught in their childhood by the family. And it created some sort of loss in both of y'all life, loss of time, loss of energy, loss of a new beginning, loss of good communication. Mm. This person has had milestones in their life 
and they wish they could have shared it with you and you've had milestones and Pisces, I could be wrong, but I feel like sometimes you wish you would have been able to share it with them too. You both have been, this has, whatever this is, it has affected you both. I feel, like, I feel like there's a lot of childish influences that played a role in you all separating. This could have been the elders in the family, you know, pitting you all against each other. This could have been people in the community pitting you all against each other. The age don't even matter. But I feel like there was a lot of like childish play between you all. People got some sort of enjoyment out of seeing you all go at each other or dislike each other or have an issue. And this person kind of see that maybe you're even saying it. But let's see what you have to say. Let me go. Oh, wow. You deserve all the good things in this world. And right now, I'm not in a space to give you the type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. Wow. So this may be somebody you're not in the energy of ready to, you're not ready to accept a new beginning with them right now. I feel like it's because Pisces, maybe some things have gotten better for you and all you're remembering is how this person made you feel and you know, if you're the black sheep, maybe um, you're upset with them because they let the family influence them to treat you a certain way or to put you in that hermit energy where they sort of maybe you feel abandoned by them or ghosted by them. So I kind of feel like you have let go of the energy of you all connecting and you want them to let you go. Wow. Maybe you're just looking at some of the happier times in your life and... I don't know what happened between you all, but I kind of feel like, and here's another one. What in the world? I oh, Hold on. The Ten of Cups. This is, look, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So I'm going to tell you something, Pisces. I do feel like you both are going to have to work through some real emotional stuff. Um, this person want to have a connection with you. They're unclear. They're, they feel like they want to have a connection with you. They do play games. They could have a fake account or something. If you're on social media, that's their way. They may throw out a comment. That's their way of just kind of connecting with you um, because they don't feel certain that you're ready. You're open and this they're picking up on your energy. But that let me go. What else do you have to say with this Ace of Cups? Your mind, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. It is toxic. Yeah, I don't care. I want I want the world to know your mind. Now, it's coming out on the Eight of Cups, Pisces. The Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. And with this mind, I kind of feel like this energy here with you, maybe this was somebody who... You just enjoyed them. Like when you all were together, you thought you all had a different connection. Maybe you felt like you all had a better, a deeper bond. Maybe you felt like you and this person were like Bonnie and Clyde or something. I don't know, you know. And I kind of almost feel like you felt betrayed by them. Like they let other people get into their ear or get into their energy. And... I feel like you were so proud when you and this person kind of were connecting, whether if it, if it was family or a husband, a wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mama, baby dad, I don't know, you know, friend, whatever it was. It just looks like at one time you, this person was your everything. You would have done anything for them. You would have gave them the shirt off your back. You cry when they cry. Y'all laugh together. Y'all build memories together. And I kind of feel like this person let other people interfere, get in their ear. Maybe people tried to come to you first and turn you against them and it didn't work. So they looked at you as the strongest one in the connection. So they tried this person to see if they could turn them against you and it worked. And you may have felt betrayed by that. Like, I can't even, you're not the strong one and out. You're not strong enough to be my friend. You're not strong enough to be my family member because you'll let people influence you to go against me. After I would, I would have given you anything, done anything for you. I was your, you know, I thought it's, it's almost as if it's like you get, a, you get angry when you think about how easily this person just threw away what you all had and went ghost. 
but they want you to let go of the past. Why is the sun card there? Still listening. I listen to the music you've shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. So I do feel like there are some good memories that you and this person have together. You know, I feel like there were some very happy times and that could have hurt you the most, Pisces, knowing that you were focusing on the happy times and they were sort of going behind your back. You know, I almost feel like they were straddling the fence. They were, you know, being out in public with you and acting like everything was good with you. But there was some sort of interference. Could have been from their own family or your family or something like that or community or something. Even people on the job if this is work related. But it's almost as if they allow people to get into their ear. But you do have, I see you do have some good memories of them. And it kind of brings you, it takes you to a, a place of happiness. And that was, you know, a moment in time where you're like, oh, okay. I remember when we were listening to this and you may smile or laugh a little bit. But it's like you're not letting go of what this person did. You, I, I really, I really feel with this nine of swords, you felt very betrayed. You felt very vulnerable. This person left you in a very vulnerable place with their actions. Hmm. Something to say, but look at how it came. It's, it came out upside down so i feel like there's is is something that you may have been willing to say at one time but you're just maybe you're done maybe you don't have anything else to say you know because it came out upside down like you know you don't really want there's something i really want to share with you i'm waiting for the right time to tell you and i feel like with this coming out upside down it's like that time may have come and gone pisces i kind of feel like you broke some sort of generational curse or it's like you're in the energy now where you could just maybe you just you don't have anything to say i feel like th there's an anxious energy around you and this person how do you how it I almost felt like you're at a loss of words because or is nothing that this person could say to justify what they did. It's something like that. It's like you want to at one time earlier, you would have been open to listen and talk and, you know, kind of share some things and kind of bury the hatchet and let the past go. But I feel like something about time has played a role in this. It's been, this person has let too much time go by before they could they should have right it or wrong a long time ago and I feel like what you maybe you wanted to get some things off your chest maybe you wanted to talk to them so you all could clear the air maybe you wanted to talk some sense into them but I feel like you're past that point now you're just like okay this is what you chose you let people interfere and they tried to turn me against you but I didn't so they went to you and it worked like, how do you bounce back from that? You know, so I kind of feel like whatever it was that you wanted to say at one time, you're just kind of like, it's nothing else to talk about. It's nothing else to say. So nervous, you make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's something where I feel like, there's an energy with both of you. You don't quite feel comfortable around this person because you may feel betrayed or like you can't trust them or, you know, they were too weak. Then that's why they let people get in their ear about you. I kind of feel like they want you to let the past go, but they're very nervous because they know that they betrayed you. They don't know how to deal with this situation. They don't even know how to approach you. So their way of getting any sort of reaction out of you may be having, the, you know, maybe they got a fake account or, you know, maybe they try to do something so you could be, you know, it's like if you're walking down the street and you don't see them and they see you, you know, they try to bust out laughing real loud or, or, you know, uh, act like they're talking to somebody else real loud they just want you know so you'll look their way and see them and then they're like okay are they going to speak are they going to say anything it's like that i kind of feel like this person you make them nervous 
Because how do they explain what they did? I really see some sort of influence that they allowed to sort of be in you all's connection. It's like they let people come between y'all. And this is somebody, again, I kind of feel like you would have given them a shirt off your back. You would have done anything for them. You thought y'all was cool. But the way that they handled something was really iffy and shady. But it, this was a loss to both of y'all, though. And they do want to come back and have a connection with you and have some sort of happy time, a happy ending. You know, some sort of fulfillment, family, be like family again. I do feel like this person has gone through some things. They could have let money or family or something come in between you all. Could be both. Could have even been an inheritance or something that they, it's like they sold their soul and just threw away the connection and now they want you to let go of the past. Okay, Pisces. So, I'm going to close out this reading, okay? We're going to get some um, angel messages. We're going to see what the angels may have to say because I kind of feel like this situation here is it sort of it was it broke your heart you know that it's almost like you felt like this person had they you thought that they were loyal but they weren't you were loyal to them but they were not loyal to you at all you both both of you all loyalty was tested you passed the test and they didn't and they know that they did something that was kind of just like you did not deserve it that's why they get nervous because it's like okay how do i go back and fix this i know i was wrong I could say I was wrong, but this person may never trust me again. And I kind of feel like you're kind of over it at this point. That's just the energy I'm getting from this reading. Let me see what else the angels have to say to you both. Trust. So, yeah, that for like this person betrayed your trust and they know it. So they kind of want to spoil you. They wish they could give you everything that they should have given you. They kind of want to wear their heart on their sleeve and make something right. They want to get your trust back again. They know they betrayed your trust. No need to worry. Um, I do feel like they're unclear about how you're going to feel, how you're going to act. And I, but I do feel like Pisces, you don't need to worry anymore because I feel like you were loyal to this person. You were there for this person. You gave them, you were open and transparent with them. Um, so I don't feel like you need to worry about, you know, what you did or didn't do or whatever. This person just let some other people get into you all's connection. And again, I don't know why I'm getting the energy. They tried you first to see if you were the one who was going to turn on them and you didn't. You were loyal to them and when, so they, so when people saw like, oh, okay, this Pisces won't turn on this person. Let's see if this person will turn on Pisces. They took the bait. So I feel like you don't have a need, a, a need to worry. No guilt, no nothing. You know, you were there. Be assertive. So they do want to sort of be assertive with you. Um, but you may be assertive right back like... They may be being assertive, like, you need to let the past go. But you may be like, how do we come back from that? There is no coming back from a from a behavior, from behavior like that or from an act like that. So I kind of feel like they may try to be assertive with you, but you're going to be wind up being assertive right back in your decision. Ask your angels. Yeah, because I kind of feel like this is somebody who you had a lot of love for. And almost feel like this is test like a test. And you may be going to your angel saying, like, is this somebody who I should get forgive? Are they truly sorry for what they did? Is this somebody who I should ever even let around me? Or should I just deal with them partially? Like, should I not deal with them at all? Should I, like, what is it? I feel like you're trying to get some sort of clarity um, with the situation, especially if this is family or somebody who you have like children with or something, I kind of feel like this is like you're going to be going to the divine trying to understand what you should do um, with the situation. Because I kind of feel like you kind of washed your hands of this person and now they want to come back. And so it's going to take everything in you. It's going to take God's grace at that point, at this point. I, for you to even, I feel like deal with them a little bit because the, the trust is gone. And I feel like some of you all, once the trust is gone with people, you don't deal with them at all. But I do feel like this person has a lot of regret over a decision that they made. You make them nervous too. 
within the next few months. So this may be somebody who you come in contact with within the next few months. That's the end of your reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will talk with you simply amazing Pisces later. Please hit that like button on the way out. If you didn't hit it on the way in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you um, turn on your notification bell, turn it to all so you can get the readings as I put them out, okay? I will talk with you simply amazing people another time.